it's fine. Everything is fine. No, no, no. I say I'm nervy. Nervy? Oh, yes. My nervy hurts. <laughs> My nervy hurts. It feels like there's a bone or a muscle, and when you get nervous, it hurts. <laughs> So I named it my Nerby. Your yeah, nerby. my Nerby. And I'm like, my Nerby hurts. <laughs> Does your Nerby hurt right now? Um, yeah. <laughs> well, it's twinging at the moment. It's just like a, it's like a irritation. It's like a Peter Tingle. Yeah, a Peter Tingle. <laughs> we just watched Spider-Man and they talk about his Peter Tingle. His uh, spider sense, but... But they called it his Peter Tingle because his name's Peter Parker. <laughs> and he's like, no, it's not, not called a don't Peter Tingle. <laughs> um, mostly about us not doing ICSI. Like, I'm afraid of the initial process just not working. I feel as long as that works, the rest of, like, our... Yeah. Like, our health choices and, like, taking the supplements and everything like that we've been doing to try to increase our bodies. Like, just, like, egg health and Everything. sperm health and my receptivity to embryos. Um, yeah, I agree. The fertilization is my biggest fear. Mm -hmm. At this point, I'm not even scared we're not going to get eggs. But I mean, there's still a little bit of that. But. What I think is going to happen, though, this is my honest feeling. What I think is going to happen is I think we're going to get two, two that, are, that will be better than the, than the one we had last time. Yeah. What do you hope happens? What do I hope happens? <laughs> yeah. Like what would be like the perfect scenario to you? Um, I think, I think perfect scenario is we have three really, really good ones and none, none of the rest of them. Cause we're wanting to put two back at day three, but at least we had another one, make it to freeze. Like if we had that third really good one, make it to freeze. Yeah. Um, which you've never had any make it to freeze. Never. We didn't have any make it to freeze. Um, but that would probably be ideal is to, is to get three really, really good ones. And then the rest of them just kind of like, oh, like those weren't, you know, those weren't going to make it anyway. My dream scenario is putting in two perfect looking ones on day three, like a fresh transfer. And then we get this call and we're blown away with the fact that two made it to freeze. Two made it to freeze? Because mm -hmm. if this one didn't work, I would hope we'd have two more in the freezer. That's fair. You know what I mean? It's hard because everything's too unknown. Um, there's there's no way to judge these things. You'd be the healthiest person in the world. You're making me up. Sorry. <laughs> you can be the healthiest person in the world and still have terrible results. Yeah. Because we ideally want two more children right like that's the goal mm -hmm. is to have two more children and at this point we don't really care if it's another set of twins or two like two subsequent children like one after another but we ideally would want two more kids when you start facing the fear of what if we can't get any you become completely content with like I just want one you know like one more kid
Not yet. The number. Just coming to tell you. Yeah. <laughs> we got 16 again. Yay. So it was all very straightforward, 16 eggs again. Not surprising. Yep, you've done well. Well I done. Really yeah. knows what to do. Okay. Mm. Thank you so much. Did I talk? Did I talk? No? I didn't actually. Fast asleep. <laughs> yeah, no talking. Before I was falling asleep, I'm like, don't talk, don't cry. <laughs> Don't that we didn't give you enough time to do any of that. <laughs> was it quick? Yeah, it was quick. Welcome okay. back. Thank you. It's like 10 minutes. That's so, that, was so, that was so fast. I can't believe you. That video again. Ah. Guess what? Guess who won? Yeah. I won. I said 17. Huh. What? I said 17, you said 18, I think. So you got close. Yeah. Do you have Imagine. Imagine if they all fertilize. My ovary is consistent. It That's is. for sure. It is consistent. <sighs> I was hoping for more, but that's a great number. It still is a great number. I may just sleep more today. Yeah? Just because I have a ticket. What? A ticket. I've got the golden ticket. Oh. I have an excuse to be like, I'm just going to watch <laughs> Netflix. You can do and that. And those moments are very rare, so I'm taking it. Do it. You can rest now. It's still a big number for one over mm -hmm. oh, yeah. <laughs> Just gonna do your um, blood pressure. Okay. Actually, very happy. It could have. I was actually thinking it was going to be less, just because. Of, just because know. we had such high yeah. hopes. Yeah, just because. Why not? Why not? Just. I'm a little disappointed. You wanted more. I just wanted this, like, cycle to be kind of like shocking. Yeah. Okay. Right. Don't need it to be shocking for it to work. Mm -hmm. For 16. That's a great number. Did I look loopy coming in? Very. Much more loopy <laughs> more than, than last, more than last time. Last I time. think it's because I warned him. I don't know. Last time. And like as time. it was going in, I was like, do people normally talk during this? <laughs> yeah, you, uh, yeah, this time you were like, does anybody know how, how many eggs? Does anybody know how many I wonder if that's everybody's first question. Yeah. Do you think? Well, it was just the way you asked. You were like, it was like you were not awake yet. You were like, does anybody know how many eggs? Like, you. I'm a little sad. It's so stupid, but it's still a good number. It was a great number. And I thought, like, compared to IVF, like the twins, compared to the twins, I only got nine, so I should be really happy. But I just like assumed we'd have a better outcome. So hopefully there's just more mature. Yeah. They're more funny and aesthetic. Wait, what do you, how would you say that? They call them an esthetes here and nestus. Hmm. We call them an anesthesiologist. Yeah. Dude, when I went in there, there was like eight people. Really? Last time there was the doctor and like the anesthesiologist. And this time it was like I walk into people like waiting for me. Like all these people standing along the walls and I'm like, okay. You're like a test subject. You're yeah. Like, you're like a... I feel like I was going in for like something way more major. Um, if you have any symptoms like severe um, 
pain, mm -hmm. high temperature, then obviously you can contact us if it's during hours, if not, call the hospital, and right. the hospital number's there. Okay. If you have um, a lot of, um, if, well, you probably will feel quite bloated to be fair, but if it's accompanied by nausea, feeling very unwell, okay. um, breathlessness, mm -hmm. those types of symptoms, then obviously mm -hmm. contact us or contact the hospital if it's out of hours. Okay. Um, possess your own suppositories that you've probably got at home. Yeah. You need to start taking one in the morning, one in the evening from tomorrow morning. Tomorrow. 12 hours apart. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Hi, Jamie. Hi. Hi. Yeah. How are you? Good. How are you? Yeah. Fine, thank you. I'm um, sorry to keep you waiting. It's okay. I know you're busy. <laughs> yeah. Um, but all good news from our side. Okay. Right. So we've collected 16 eggs for you both. Okay. So a good number. Yeah. And um, again, the sperm is a nice normal sample, so normal count. It's moving nicely, um, and the shape of the sperm is fine as well. Um, so we're happy to proceed with IVF again. Okay. I know that you've had a chat with the doctor in your review and. You talked about it's it makes us nervous okay but it seemed like the last time the regular IVF ones were the best ones yeah and of course um, I think the ones that didn't fertilize from the IVF were immature as well right so they wouldn't have been able yeah, to we had 100 percent fertilization across the board on yeah. the mature ones yeah. yeah okay okay so no embryo escape this cycle yeah. Um so yeah we'll give you that update on day three yeah. let you know what they're doing and have a chat with you about whether you want to come in or you know, we recommend you come Okay, in. so you'll call me Saturday morning as well as tomorrow. Okay. Yes, exactly. Yeah. yeah. Perfect. Yep, I'm happy we're doing everything different this time. No embryoscope. No embryoscope. No ICSI. No ICSI. She said your count looked good, they were moving around well. So one good thing about not doing ICSI that she said is that if you're doing ICSI, they have to be mature now because they clean them off now and go ahead and inject them with sperm. Whereas um, what she'll do today is she'll put all the eggs in with the sperm today and um, they have until tomorrow. So she said if there were some that weren't completely mature right now, they have time overnight to mature and possibly fertilize. So that's, I think that's pretty encouraging, right? It is, it is very encouraging. Uh, there's a good chance we're gonna have a lot, a lot better Outcomes. results than last I time. I hope so. Yeah, I think ICSI actually hurt our chances yeah. last time. Yeah, I don't think it was good. You know, the, no. the problem is last time we just didn't know um, if I was going to. Like if your sperm were gonna be able to fertilize yeah, the eggs. Yeah, we didn't. We didn't know if it was your eggs or if it was sperm. Like you don't really know. Yeah. What the problem? Hey guys, so my camera cut off. <laughs> on the way home from egg retrieval but we are home now I am resting it is much much later than when the video left off and feeling a lot of pain a lot of cramping um, but very grateful that we got 16 eggs and a good sperm count and we're just anticipating the news tomorrow as to how many fertilized and we're nervous but excited so if you're new here uh, go ahead and hit that subscribe button so that you won't miss any notifications about our cycle as well as that little bell symbol that will help you actually get the notifications and um, yeah we'll give you an update tomorrow